Here you may notice a lot of teenagers and leotards and tutus hanging around the Strass Center this week. Hundreds of dancers from across the country will take the stage for the annual Youth America Grand Prix. ABC Action News reporter Robert Boyd shows us the impact this competition has on young dancers. From stretching to costumes to rehearsal, behind the scenes at the Strass Center, these young performers are preparing for the ultimate audition, the Youth America Grand Prix. How big of an honor is it to be asked to compete? It is a big honor. I mean, not everyone gets to, and it's really nice just to be able to go on stage and dance a solo, especially in these times with COVID. Angelina Carbonero is one of more than 200 dancers nationwide who will be putting their best slipper forward in an attempt to secure a scholarship with a dance company or school. Being seen by a bunch of different ballet masters almost, you get remembered if you really put yourself out there. What's it like knowing that if you really nail your routine, it could be a whole bunch of opportunities awaiting you after that? It's, it's very stressful. <laughs> uh, they're like critiquing you on your technique, um, your artistry, so you really have to bring both of those together, and which makes it a lot harder. Simeon Neld traveled all the way from New Mexico for the bright lights of the Strass stage. What would be the dream scenario or scholarship for you uh, coming out of this week? Um, probably to dance in Germany. Uh, I want to dance internationally. These dancers say the most amazing part is sharing the experience with so many others who have the same goals and aspirations. Do you learn a lot from the other dancers while you're here? Yes, I definitely do because there's so many different variations that people are doing. So I get to watch and see how they do them, how they slightly change them, and how they modify them to make it their own. And as a special treat for the public, this Saturday, many of these competitors will be teaming up with professionals for a one-night-only performance, Stars of Today, Dance with Stars of Tomorrow. If you're going to go watch the Super Bowl, why wouldn't you want to watch the Super Bowl of Ballet, right? It's Champa Ballet, not just Champa Bay. In Tampa, Robert Boyd, ABC Action News.